Good day everybody. I'm going to try something a little different today. Um, I don't know if you've ever inquired into getting Daphnia eggs shipped to you, maybe from Thailand. Um, but I've been in the market for some Daphnia Moimia, or however you say it, the little ones. Um, having a hard time finding them, getting into the cold season, didn't feel as comfortable shipping them. So today, I received my order from Greenwater Farms, um, found them on Aquabid, used the link on Aquabid to go to their site and actually saved money over what uh, they were asking or trying to get with the bid there. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got and I'll walk you through this uh, step by step and give you updates as time goes on and how well this works. So again, this isn't a a live culture. It's uh, basically eggs that come in little pills. Let's see here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, Green Water Farms. Premium product, 100% natural. Bonilla. Acropa eggs, ready to hatch, contains two capsules, and high hatch rate. Yeah, I should believe that. Made in Thailand, manufactured the 15th of April. Um, Best Buy, 15th of April 26. So, this must have about a two year shelf life. So, this might be nice to have around, you know, in case your culture crashes. You can have one of these uh, sitting there to, uh, to get it restarted, but let's take a look at the directions here. Um, prepare equipment, including small tank and air pump. Pour water into small tank. Temperature, pH, water should be between 77 and 90. Oh, my water is going to be cooler than that. Uh, pH of 6.0 to 9. I'm probably going to be around 7. It says open capsule carefully and sprinkle eggs into tank of water. The eggs will hatch in 3 to 10 days. After the eggs hatch, use air pump to add oxygen to water. Feed the moinia with various types of bacteria, yeast, and cholera one to two times a day guide for feeding fish first day hatching morning is is suitable for 10 days old fry and above two feed only one time daily morning can survive without food for three to ten days in the tank so this might be something nice if you're getting ready to travel and you want some food floating around in your tank uh, that's not going to increase the bio load. Um, might be a great way to do it. Let's let's open this up. See what we got inside. So nothing else in there. It's like we have this nice little end of the world proof storage bag. Yeah, the way it shows in the picture is a couple of uh, gel tablets. Looks like it actually comes in these neat little spike thingies. I'm probably going to put one of these in the refrigerator to save for later. Um, but yeah, I'm going to walk you through adding this to the tank today, and I'm going to show you where I found it online, and if you're interested, uh, where you can get your own. And I will be updating this video as time goes on, and see how well it does so let's uh, let's move on to the second step so those of you who have been watching me know that I've been maintaining this tank of glorious green water for over two years now I've typically anywhere in between 
two to three hundred guppies in here at any time just a standard 20 gallon tank harbor freight grow light right in the window and then uh, yeah I've been trying to find a way to utilize some of this and you know the Daphnia live on this stuff so figured I could start making some fish food so let me bring you over here so this is another tank that I keep in the window um, this one I generally use for growing duckweed to feed to my goldfish but it has been really good at uh, growing green water as you can see just uh, some pretty uh, very green and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the eggs in here, put it back in the window, and uh, I'll continue to harvest my uh, duckweed out of there for the goldfish. And I'll also be harvesting Daphne once they grow for my other fish, and just give this water change or add more green water every couple of days. I'll probably set up a couple more tanks once I get the colony established. But, uh, yeah, let, let's, let's get to doing it here. All right. So we're going to take one of these little, uh, you know, some type of spike looking thingy here. Ooh, made a little mess. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see those in there. that close back up and then imagine I suppose I want to get them all wet here well it doesn't look like they're gonna sink immediately so I'll let those uh, soak there for a moment and I am going to show you how I found these just in case you're interested in giving it a try yourself well so for those of you who know Aquabid this is Aquabid and it took me a while to find uh, what I was looking for just trying to learn the site here but I'll show you. Go here to where it says foods. Go to live foods. And here you'll see a bunch of listings from different manufacturers. Stuff that people are bidding on. I ordered these about a week ago. So I need to go here to page two. And then you'll see Greenwater Farms and right here so this is what started me on it. I you know, clicked here wait for it to load all right and this is their uh, their page look at how big that box is man I bet you get a bunch no nah, just a little box but uh, don't let the size fool you, that could turn into a whole lot of fish food. But as you can see here, bidding starts at eleven ninety nine. I don't know how far people typically go on it, but I thought, hey, I wonder if I could find their website. So I went to where is it? Somewhere here. Oh, Greenwater Farms. Mm. Well, somehow I linked to their website. Let me see here. All 
right, yeah, and I did. I scrolled all the way down to the back. That's what they should look like once they're hatched and wiggling. I went here, clicked on the link to their website, and what do you know? $12.99 is the regular price for them. I'd never heard of these guys or know of anyone who's tried these before, so I wanted to bring you along for my little experiment here. And I added one to cart, $12.99, and I want to say it was like four or five bucks in shipping. And uh, it took about four days before I received an email confirming my order. Had me a little bit nervous. And altogether it took you know just a little bit more than a week to or maybe about a week and a week and a day actually for it to show up at my house and that would be today all right and that should be about it for today it's been about seven minutes since i put this in you can see it's still kind of floating up there you definitely wouldn't want to put this in a tank full of fish they would probably think that was fish food and start eating the eggs before they hatch I'm a little concerned about how it's accumulating Ugh. focus around the side here but uh, I can just do a little bit of that to wash it down But yeah, hopefully this is something that interests you. Um, if so, uh, please subscribe. Um, either way, if you made it this far, please like the video. You might as well. Leave me some comments if you have any questions or um, anything I didn't cover or something you think that I should cover more clearly. Please let me know. And for today, we're going to wrap it up and I'll probably be checking back in about 10 days, maybe two weeks, maybe somewhere in the middle there. Hopefully we'll get these little guys swimming around and um, then the big fun will be we're going to take this to multiple tanks and see what we can get to bite on it. So yeah, again I hope you found this uh, informative, educational, helpful and we'll have to see how it goes thanks again for watching have a great day and don't forget to uh there on the lower left hand side of the screen there's going to be a link to my playlist of culturing videos where i'll be putting updates on this uh particular culture and Look at some of the other cultures that I've done. Scuds, vinegar eels, paramecium, green water, all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, there in the lower left-hand corner, you should be seeing that little picture of the playlist. Click on there, and we'll see you around. Thank you.